Is it true that Purim is holier than Yom Kippur? It says in Zayar, we didn't invent it, it says in Zayar that Yom Kippurim is Yom Kippurim, it's they like Purim. And of course everyone gets very nervous about this. There are huge discussions in Chesidus, very involved, lengthy discussions in Chesidus that explain it. Um, there's a Maimon Ateres, I think it's a, it's a Sukkot Maimon, Shemina Ateres, Tafesh Ayin Tes. I forgot the name of the Maimon. It's about Esther and Soda. And you have the same Maimon, the early Samachs. Omar Rav Shmuel Ben Achmeini, I think. But I don't remember. But in Ateres, you have this Maimon. And the Rebbe said it. The Rebbe the biggest of the Maimon. In his Nesias, I don't remember what year. The same Maimon. And the basic point is that everything in holiness, everything in closeness to Hashem can be done inside the box and outside the box. Can be done in a framework of holiness and preciseness and can come from the natural truth of the neshama of a person. Which now, normally, when a person steps outside the box, he's in trouble, right? When you walk out of the shul, you're in the street. When you get drunk, you're crazy. So, under normal conditions, do you have to be inside the box, you have to be in the framework, which means in order to be a yid that's truly involved with Hashem in a healthy way, you have to follow the rules that are set down by the Torah. And you step outside those rules, you're going to be in a lot of trouble. But on rare occasions, a person is raised up that the person's natural self is so in tune with the Eivish that without any box, without any rules, he does it right. Now, the Rebbe always used to point out that they used to send out shluchim that people shouldn't drink excessively Pesach, Shavuos, and Sukkot. Put them, they drank. They drank excessively in the time of the second Pesach, Mikdash. There were no shluchim sent out. And the Rebbe said they fasted after Pesach and after Shavuos, after Sukkot, because a person may have gotten drunk and become lightheaded. How come they didn't fast after Purim? Purim, the mitzvah was to get drunk. And the Tere says that the day of Purim taps into a Jew where he connects to Hashem on the highest level without the rules. Yom Kippur and Purim are both the highest level. But Yom Kippur is there for the most controlled, and Yom Kippur and Purim is there for the least controlled. But on Yom and Purim, a Yid is holding by a Madreg of Adel, Yada naturally, without any rules. Now, you know, we live in a hippie age, you know, where everybody wants to be very spiritual, but they want to make their own rules. But that doesn't necessarily mean that every hippie who makes his own rules is put in. A lot of it is yeshes, a lot of it is klipa, and a lot of it is pasha taiva and sitrachana. But the idea is real. That a human being has within himself an ability to have an infinite connection to the Yebishter just by himself. And that's what Purim is. And Yom Kippur is a human being having an infinite relationship to the Yebishter by prescribing to precise rules that the Yebishter set. And the constant between Yom Kippur and Purim, as we know, is goyl, right? That it's above seich. In the Yom Kippur Avodah, there was a goyl between Shnei Seidim, and it's a very big deal in Pnei Mesatei. We have to make a lottery. <laughs> you have a right goat and a left goat. Say, ini, mini, mani, mo. We have to make a goyl. Because it had to come from a place of goyl, random. That's where the kapora came from. Lifne Havai, hard and shame Havai. Lifne Havai to Toro. And of course, Purim is called goyl. Both of them share this quality, this property. They're tapping into what's higher than seich. But in Yom Kippur, it's very controlled. There's the king Godel in the Beis HaMikdash, the right time, the right place, the right person. And Purim, it's, uh, it's without any of those constraints. And that's why, Chayiv Inish Lebesum Bepur Adel The Rebbe always talked about Adel But the Rebbe didn't always speak of Adel in terms of drunkenness. Even though the halacha is that Adel is in for Shikrus. You drink wine, not to Yishtaker, we rod them Beshikruse. But... The idea of Adel Yad is that a person raises himself beyond his mind. Um, and at a level which is beyond his mind, you're closer to the Abish than you are when you're in the parameters of your mind. But not that you're beyond your mind, you're crazy. Beyond your mind and you're in touch with the Yemes. And this is the Pshat and the Tekun Uzeir that put him aside in Yom Kippur. I mean, I've said it briefly, but there's much more to be Meirich. There's more details as to with Teira and Kim of Kiblu and so on, but that's enough.